Hello and welcome to Genimate Generator Services. So today I've just been carrying out a load bank test on a 110 kVA standby generator and I thought I'll just make a quick video just highlighting the reason why we do a load bank test and what indeed a load bank test is. So I'll quickly run through the setup. So this is what's known as a resistive load bank. Okay. Now I use it in the back of my van. Okay, I have a safe area at the back here because it does blow out warm air. And those basically are just resistive elements or heater elements which I can individually switch on using a control device. Now this one's just a basic one. I mean there's lots available but I find this one is uh, you can put it on in one kilowatt at a time, 10 kilowatts at a time. 100 kilo, I mean you can put whatever you want on and just bang it on, take it off. Obviously you need to be working within the parameters of your generator. You don't want to be overloading it, but it's great for testing impact loads, proving that it'll support site loads, but more importantly, and the reason why we really do it, is to give your generator a good test. Okay, now well, here's my setup. So a walkway here, so we'll put a ramp in. Cables all neatly going out to the generator in the enclosure there. So, why do we do the load banking? Especially on site standby sets, they generally run off load. They might get tested by site once a week, once a fortnight, once a month if we're lucky. Um, but I mean, that can, it's obviously they need testing, we need to prove they start and stop. However, running them for long periods of time offload can cause problems. The actual engine temperature doesn't get to its optimum temperature. It's not really that warm and all the seals can leak a little bit. So the main ones, the piston liner seals, they can actually leak oil. Well, not leak oil, but you know they allow oil to pass into the actual cylinders. And what can happen there, it, if the temperature isn't warm enough, it, it doesn't really burn off so you can get oil leaking through the cylinders so basically some burns off but at the lower temperatures caused by low load you get the carbon deposits forming around valves valve ports pistons even the rings but like I said the oil can actually discharge into the exhaust system and gradually accumulate and you often see drips of oil coming from turbocharger outlet joints and even exhaust joints and that's the sign that you really need to be getting it load banked so ultimately it'll make your generator last longer you know keep it in good condition and it's proving the cooling system it's proving the load acceptance and it's just a general good idea you know once a year get someone like us to come out we'll connect up to your Jenny it's not disruptive to you and we'll do a load bank test I'll give you a full report. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thank you. Bye.